welcome back to another episode of Assassin's Creed Rogue. Um, this is intolerable. Right. I can barely yeah, conduct my research anymore. Everyone is having metal conversations. So, in the last episode, we watched the introductory video for the mission that I'm now going through to basically find out where they're taking the Viking gods and stealing them. Oh, you mean that thing that I've been using the entire game? Yeah, I know about this. Shut up. There it is. may have noticed that I uploaded uh, four episodes last week and for just one. Uh, the reason why I did that is specifically because I decided that uh, with the huge backlog that I have for this, um, I have about, not quite, I have almost 30 episodes just waiting to get processed and uploaded um, I'm sure you're for this series. Because I record a lot more than one episode of PlaySession, as you can tell. Um, like this episode and last, which both part of the same PlaySession. So because I have so much of a backlog, I decided that what I was going to do is basically double my output. So if there's one a week, I'm going to do two. Like maybe Sunday, if one day, I'll upload one. Um, and because I decided that I was going to do that, I decided that uh, I would make up for the... I'd upload to the point where I have the six that I would have had if I had been doing for the week to the beginning. Thank you for finally going up there after 17 attempts. Yes, you are really bad. Last episode, this was gonna have first frame rate lag because the whole transcoding the videos while I'm recording the video is stuck. I wonder what Master Franklin plans to do with these rods. The storm's getting worse. Let's hurry back to Franklin. I see. Like the description of the precursor box in the manuscript versus the actual. Is, um, it's the description of, of how the stuff is, and the actual uh, watching it happen. Because the thing it said... Quick! Help me with the rods!
a nap. Where is that? Portugal. Lisbon, I'd stake my life on it. Make yourself scarce, Jay. The militia will be here any minute. I'm sure they will have questions. What about you? I'm a devoted housekeeper. Right. I think the manuscript was completely useless because the manuscript did not say anything about electricity in the box. That was Ben's idea. Anything left here? I don't think so. Didn't even use the manuscript. So now I'm gonna. S now I'm seeing. Is there any stuff I didn't collect? Is there any stuff that I want to collect? Do I just want to go to this mission? I can fast travel to. <laughs> I do want to decide yes, that's going to go to the next mission, but I'm going to spend some time dilly dallying. I think we need to do that. Hmm. Oh, you prefer to have forts. Basically, what we're doing is, while we're still in what I'm considering the tutorial stage of the game, we'll collect the things at the places where we go. All the things. But we're not actually going to go around and do the collecting of everything. Uh, once I get out of the tutorial mode, um, then basically we'll collect everything in the map that we're in, when we get to the map, so when I get to a new map, we go and collect everything from there. And there's either three or four maps. Yay, the loading screens. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. We get all the collecting done, so it's pretty much just a straight run through the story from that point. So, hooray. The nearest bureau is near Mount Vernon. Hope will be expecting me. Oh. Okay. Is it not Vernon the other place I could have gone? Yes, it was. Why am I going to be upset? Why am I going to see anything? I don't know. Whatever. Lisbon is near as large as London or Paris. Are you sure you can find this one place? Saw it clear as day, Hope. It's a convent, right close by the harbor. I might have visited the sisters once or twice. Given your present knowledge of the site, this duty falls upon you. You understand what must be done? Find the Precursor Temple and retrieve the Peace of Eden. Finally obtained a ship for crossing the ocean. Have no worries. I will keep the Morgan safe in New York. Thank you. Liam and I will leave straight away. Liam is unavailable at present. Your crew and ship await. Be careful, Shay. Pieces of Eden are powerful relics. Okay. So, let's say I don't know anything about the Assassin's Creed games at all up to this point. Um... So, he's just been told that pieces of Eden are really, really, really powerful. And he was told that what he's going to do right now 
is go into the temple and grab one and bring it back. That's it. He was also told to be very careful. But, you know, be careful, they're really, really powerful. Saints, what a sight. Oh. That here I am, looking for a relic from the time before Adam and Eve. <laughs> Strange days indeed. You are struggling with the frame rate, aren't you there? My frame rate's fine, but who eats? Uh, it's a good thing it's just a five frames. Benedictus es Domine. Deus universi quia de tua largitate acepimus vinum, quo tibi offerimus, fructum vitis et operis manum hominum, ex quo nobis fiet potus spiritalis. Okay. Let's see. You know, with all these assassin symbols here, you'd think that we already knew about this place, especially considering this is an assassin puzzle that opens it to That's not an assassin symbol, but those things on the ledge were. Yep, that's not something you could do with a normal knife. Also, this place was built, so the, the, the precursor temple was built long before, you know, this whole civilization thing that we have nowadays. And by nowadays, of course, I mean like the 1700s, not modern, real world nowadays. So the precursors obviously did not build this temple, church, whatever. So why does this puzzle exist at all in the church? I mean, I can understand, you know, like accidentally building the church on top of the precursor site, but why would you include a puzzle to get into the precursor site when up until this point supposedly no one knows where it is? It's a logical fallacy for you. It. The precursor site. What do we have here? The artifact.
that freaking precursor artifact just caused this huge ass freaking earthquake that is basically destroying all of them. I am continuing to move forward. Nope, you have to tell me. first start the game, you go to the homestead, and the first thing that happens at the homestead is that uh, the dude who used to be the other guy's first mate um, comes down and talks to uh, uh, Achilles and tells him that uh, they sent the guy to a temple, he hasn't come back, there's an earthquake there, we think he died in it. You go to this other one in Lisbon, um, and it sounds to me like you actually, like this is the first person who actually survives, right? Like obviously at least one other of these artifacts has been the exact same thing, where it's a freaking mind-shaped thing that causes a huge temple collapse and earthquake as soon as you touch it. You know, obviously the idea is, hey guys, um, we need to find out which one of these are this kind and keep anyone from ever touching them, ever. It's the touching that causes it to happen. about to find out his reaction. 
my reaction is, holy shit, this really freaking sucks. And it was because that temple collapsed when I touched the thing, it disintegrated my hand to see and I touched it. If I was Shay, and I had gone to Lisbon, and I had touched that precursor artifact, and then an earthquake happened, knowing what I know, in that absolutely no one knows what these artifacts are, because anyone who's gone after one has died trying to get it, so no one was able to report back and say, hey, this is what they are, this is what they do. I'm the only person to go find it, find out what it does, and escape alive. I now know more about these artifacts than any other human on the face of the planet that's alive right now, right? If it were me that was Shay, my reaction would be, I need to warn these guys, this is what happens. Whereas Shay's reaction is... So what's the next city you want me to smite? What happened in Haiti, happened in Portugal. A great earthquake, thousands dead next to your damned manuscript. This cannot be. Shay, a person cannot start an earthquake. A person meddling with these precursor machines could. You saw the box hope. The temple was filled to bursting with that slaughter innocence. How dare you? You defend him? Achilles sent me in there like Makandal sent his man in Haiti. What he the hell is going on? Stop this! The operation was delicate. Perhaps you... You are shifting the earth itself. Who are you to decide what city falls next? Get him out of here. Okay, so... Do, do you see where I'm coming from? Where he's freaking the stupidest person on the planet? <laughs> He's the first person to actually survive. It's happened once before, because some other dude went to try and get a different one in a different temple, and he never came back. There was an earthquake. I assume he died there. And this is his reaction when he survives. He knows more about these freaking artifacts than anyone else on the planet. And he thinks that the person who sent him to go retrieve it set him up. Liam is a fool if he thinks I'll leave this be. Achilles cannot be trusted. He must never find another precursor temple. I don't care that he's mentor or that his family is dead. There's no excuse for this level of madness. possible to find is actually a pretty good reaction to finding out that at least twice the one that you find is you, you fucking good damn thing only one thing to do now that was completely useless what But his thought process in thinking that his mentor freaking sent him on there to no, purposely yeah. destroy Lisbon, that's just, how do you come to that conclusion? No one knows shit about these things. Shay is a freaking moron. There's no turning back now. I had such hopes for you, Shay. Achilles. I have to do this. And what is it you're doing, exactly? Stealing from your brothers? Yeah. Betraying me? Someone must make amends. Make amends? You have no idea what you're doing. The future of the whole continent, maybe the whole world, is tied up in that manuscript. Yeah, I noticed. Perhaps. 
But we don't have the right to decide that future. Agreed. The right! We have the responsibility! We are responsible for killing innocents and destroying cities. This mad grab for power. It ends now. I will... Not let you destroy everything we have built! Assassins! Stop him! Stop Shay! I would love to know why my ship decided to start attack. I'm not even sure if it's mine. What is it doing? Why did that ship decide to start at that moment? Because I can guarantee they didn't hear him say uh, stop Shay. And he said stop Shay, not kill Shay. And if it's my ship, then really, how did they. I mean, seriously. How would they know? You won't hinder our plans. How could you, Shay? Stop right there! Halt! We need to have words! I have him in my sights. I see him! Ready to open fire! I have a clear shot! You have got to stop! to reason, Shay. That's enough! Give back the manuscript, Shay! I'm sure Achilles- I cannot! I will not let this happen again! All those souls lost! One more hardly matters. Shay! So basically, the entire premise is of this game is a glitch in the memories. There seems to be more data. You're playing an idiot. Okay, Numskull. I can't pull you out of the chair right now. You'll just have to see this through. This is bizarre. These memories seem to take place some 20 years after the one we just saw. Are you certain? Positive. This means. Shay must have survived that fall. Yep. If he is the Obviously. man I believe him to be, then he has. Keep going. The data is fragmented. This memory is incomplete. Let me see what I can do. Listen up. We need to find out what Shay's up to. This memory's gonna look a little rough. But I'm like 90% sure sequencing this memory won't kill you. I really hate that one. All right, Namsko. We don't know where Shay is or what he's doing there. So keep your eyes and ears open. I want to know the reason Shay came to this place. You heard the man. Let's move. Come on. Et alors, vous l'avez trouvé Ouais, Benjamin Franklin est à Notre-Dame. Si on se maigne, on devrait le rattraper. Arrêtez de vous branler Allons-y 
Benjamin Franklin. That's the thing it happened. Franklin traveled to England and France, and that guy said not to die. Shame must be in Paris. Time to show me what you got. Eliminate the threat. Protect Franklin. What the fuck was that for? Wow, really? Okay. I don't know why I'm bothering to do that. I don't get anything out of it. Yeah, thanks for randomly assaulting some dude. Shit! What happened? That's all the data we have. We can't explore this memory further. For now. Shay couldn't have died, then appeared in France 20 years later. We're missing something. Wow, this is a really boring loading screen. Shay's memories are scattered in chunks throughout the cloud. The servers are messed up and virus, so we can't done. access all of Shay's life at once. It's gonna uh, kick me out to court the world. You hit a wall and I'm busy with something. Why do you go meet Otto Berg? You'll find him squatting in one of the offices. That requires me to care. And I don't. I'm bored. Shay Cormac is an assassin. But he is unlike the ones you have used for your entertainment products in the past. I believe Shay may be the most important assassin who ever lived. Why did you knife the chasser? Your research will help me achieve something I have wanted for a very long time. Shay's story may have something to offer you as well. to get to the next chunk of Shay's memories? Excellent. I'm gonna need the numbskull back if we're gonna proceed. Your next task is clear. Wow. But please it's reflect just the one guy. on what we have discussed. And how much you want to bet William Johnson uses Shay as her side. Can you come to the elevator already? And I said please. Two, okay, you're right. Four, I didn't. Five, six, but come seven, to the elevator eight. anyway. Yeah, that's awesome. Oh, and there's a thingy over here. Of course there's a thingy over there. I got tired of waiting for Melanie's stupid repair crew, so I got this piece of shit working well enough to get you to the lobby and back. I'll get your animus prepped while you're downstairs. Shit! I forgot! The server is behind a level one security lock. I have granted you level one security clearance. I trust there will be no further delays. Great! Now you can get into the server room. Once you restore the servers, I'll load the next set of Shay's memories to your animus. And you're in! Oh wow, this one's gonna be really hard. Or is possible. All points ready. Great job, Nobskull. Data we have is pretty raw, but it's enough to move forward. Get back up here. Double time. It looks like restoring servers also clears the virus from some of the other systems. You are making excellent progress. I am eager to see what Shay will show us next. Level 1 clearance will also let you into some of the other parts of the building as well. If you need to stretch your legs in between admin sessions.
we're not actually going to be watching the enemies. Do you care? These hand-drawn animations are fantastic! We're making good progress here. How about now? No? Mm. Now? No. Shit. Why you... But have you tried it, though? Hey, check it out. There's things out there. Huh? No, the story's told in rhyme. It doesn't sound like my thing. How can you dismiss it without even playing it? I will scream. I will scream. Are there PvP death matches in it? It's gonna what? be a while No, no. It's it's a full turn based RPG. I'm so glad I went to university for this. Right now is the server room where I started all this. Uh, long, just right. Well, all over the place down here. Oh, this one. Broken. And okay. I can't stop crafting ocula. It's like a disease. Nothing to see here. Shut your face. Okay. Let me get back inside. Black 
Gracias, Rey. If I said that was the craziest shit I'd ever seen, would that be the most obvious statement ever? Shay has been through a severely traumatic experience. Okay. Second most obvious statement ever. Continue exploring his memories. The best is yet to come. William Johnson, right? William Johnson. Yeah, that's the dude. Uh. Hey. Good to see you're feeling better. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Finnegan, was it? Sweet Mother Mary. Have we taken in the village idiot? Barry! Remember, Shay? I'm Cassidy, and this is... Mari! You've been ill for weeks. I hate to have been a burden. See? He's a civilized fella. Aye, for a clumsy deckhand. Probably fell off his ship half drunk. Barry! He's right. What do y'all want? <gasps> What's going on? You wretch, how dare you? Shut up, woman. Oh. Leave her alone. Ah. Now what are you going on about? Stay out of this, you fool. Well, I was going to, but... Now you've made things personal. Miraculous full heal. Activate. Oh, some excitement. <laughs> and don't come back! Thank you, Shay. In my younger days, I could have taken them one-handed. Why were these men Father bothering usual. you? usual. They feel their old money because they're not Harmon's citizens. Mark me words, those gangs are going to be the downfall of this city. Wait here, I have something for you. It won't do you any good walking around Starkers. Here, try these on. They were our sons. I suppose if you're looking for trouble, We'll be needing these. Thank you. <gasps> Don't you look a right, gentleman? Yes. Did I have a book with me? Mm, just those peculiar weapons. Thank you both. If you'll excuse me. The manuscript is at the bottom of the Atlantic. Get on 
What have you and your friends got against the Finnegans? Uh, I got no gripe. Uh, my boss sent me over. Huh. And where is he set up? Y you can't miss it. There's always black smoke rising from the courtyard of that building. Oh, that was, um, interesting. Did anybody else notice that the only thing that moved on both of them was their faces? And literally, they were stone statues and stuff for them. Crazy. Kind of like observation. Alright, well, that's the end of this episode. Uh, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.